Liftoff of the Delta rocket carrying a blast. Liftoff of the Delta rocket carrying in blast. Good morning, everybody. I hope that we're having a very wonderful Wednesday. Uh, I'd like to welcome all of you to our third day of Discovery Festival 2022. Uh, this morning, we're going to be joined by Joseph Gooden, who is with CNN, 
and he is going to talk with us about all the amazing and exciting opportunities that CNM has to offer uh, for our students. So Joseph, thank you for joining us. I'm gonna go ahead and pass the mic over to you. Thank you so much. How's it going, everybody? Um, as Mr. Wilson has said, uh, my name is Joe. I am a recruiter at Central New Mexico Community College. So today I'm gonna present uh, a little presentation here um, about what CNM has to offer and, you know, maybe kind of talking about certain aspects of college that a lot of people have questions about. So what I'm going to do, let me present here. All right. Can everybody see that? Okay. You, you're coming through Joseph. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So everybody can see my presentation. So welcome. This is Central New Mexico Community College. When you think of college, a lot of people tend to have a lot of questions that come to mind. Uh, one of the biggest questions people have is, how much is it going to cost to go to college? Um, there's a huge stigma about colleges that people think about when it comes to the payment. A lot of people think college is expensive. That is true. But we're going to get into how CNM approaches the cost to school. We're also going to talk about uh, workload difficulties. Uh, we're going to talk about what resources are available to you. Um, how are you going to balance your school and other responsibilities? And what do I do if I don't know if I want to study, or if I don't know what I want to study? So a little bit of a background, CNM. We are the largest community college in New Mexico. We serve over 33,000 students. Uh, a community college is a school that focuses on two-year degree programs or certificate programs. So we don't have actually four-year university programs that you would think about with like UNM or New Mexico State um, or any of those colleges that you see in those big football games every Friday. We are a two-year school that focuses on giving people associate's degrees and certificates. And because of that, we offer over a hundred different programs that you can choose from. We have nine locations, eight of them in Albuquerque and one in Rio Rancho. So we have campuses all over the place, depending on where you are at personally in the Albuquerque metro area, or depending on if you aren't even in Albuquerque. Um, we have CNM classes that are small. We average about 20 students per classroom. Now, why is that important? I would assume most schools, uh, you guys have a smaller class size rather than say a UNM or a big, big college. Some of those classes can be up to 300 students in a class. That can be pretty intimidating for a lot of people who aren't used to that kind of thing. So what CNM focuses on is getting you prepared for college by giving you college level content or courses, while also maintaining a small classroom size. Uh, that can really help you get prepared for life after a two-year school, um, depending on if you want to go to a four-year college or if you want to go, uh, let's say, just right into the working world. So let's say you get a two-year degree and you say, I want to go to UNM now or NMSU and I want to get a four-year degree. Well, you're going to be prepared mentally for the college level work as well as it gives you a better perspective of what to expect in college. And then when you do get into those classes that might be pretty big, you aren't as intimidated. And that is a huge, huge advantage for you when you do decide to go to college. We do have a mascot. Even though we do not have sports, we do have a mascot. His name is Soul the Suncat. Uh, he is an, uh, a yellow, uh, I would say close to a bobcat kind of cat. Um, he's pretty cool. He goes to a lot of our events and, you know, shakes hands and says hello to people. Um, and within CNM, we also have about six academic schools and we're going to jump right into that. So the first school we have is our school of business, hospitality, and technology. Now, when a lot of people think of those three things, you might say those aren't really connected. But in our school of business, hospitality, and technology, we encompass a broad range of things, including running a business, uh, whether you want to be you know, in accounting or if you want to be a business manager. Maybe you enjoy computer sciences. Maybe you like culinary arts. You want to be a chef. We have uh, hospitality and tourism. Maybe you want to work on a cruise ship or maybe you want to work in a hotel. We have all kinds of things 
in the realm of our BHT school. So within that, we also have uh, another school, which is the School of Education. Some of you may want to may want to be a teacher when you're older. So we have an adult basic education program for those who need to get their diploma or their uh, high school equivalency. Um, we also have an alternative teacher licensure. So that's if you want to be a teacher and you already have a degree that is not in education. We also have an early childhood multicultural education program. We have teacher education. Uh, if you are uh, a speaker of a different language and you are learning English, we have courses for that. Uh, we have English for speakers of other languages. And you can also get certified to teach those who are not speakers of English. And then we also have a first year experience program. The next thing we have is a school of health, wellness, and public safety. So this is encompassing things like cosmetology. Maybe you want to be a nail technician. Maybe you want to work on hair. We also have criminal justice. Uh, let's say you want to be a police officer. We have dental sciences. We do not uh, have a school to become a dentist, but we have a school to become a dental technician or a receptionist in a dental office, depending on what you want for your pathway. We also have a medical sonography program. So those are the people that do the ultrasounds. We have an emergency medical services. So think of your ambulance drivers the people who go to emergencies in those ambulances, uh, in those trucks, and are there to help in a medical emergency. We also have fire sciences. Those are for people that are interested in becoming a city firefighter, or if you want to become a wildlife firefighter. That's a pretty big topic right now. People are being sent all over the place for wildfires. So that's also a profession that is in high need and it pays well, and it is a great service to your community. We also have veterinary sciences at our South Valley campus, uh, which is down in Southern Albuquerque. We actually have a vet tech program where you can become uh, essentially an assistant to a veterinarian. And that can, you know, if you love working with animals, big or small, horse, puppy, whatever you enjoy, there are so many opportunities within the vet tech program. The next school we have is a school of liberal arts. Now, liberal arts is uh, encompassing a lot of different things. Uh, liberal means broad. So you have anthropology. So let's say you want to be Indiana Jones and you want to go be an archaeologist somewhere. Or maybe you like communications and you want to be, you know, get into public speaking or maybe leadership roles. We also have criminology, uh, understanding the criminal mind. That's a pretty cool topic right now. A lot of people love those documentaries that have to do with all these uh, notorious figures in history. We have English. We have fine arts. Fine arts including, you know, uh, like painting, pottery making, uh, jewelry making, all kinds of different programs that you can think about with being creative. We also have modern languages. We have Spanish interpreter programs. We have uh, learning some, you know, we have some Navajo courses. We have courses in all the broad strokes of modern languages um, in case you are just curious about culture. We also have pre-law in case you want to become a, a lawyer someday. That can help you get in to a four-year school and get towards your lawyer degree. We also have theater. If you love acting, you love being around acting, there's a lot of opportunities within theater as well. Now, this is the one that seems like the highest interest. We have math, science, and engineering. Uh, that's in everything from your biologies, your chemistries, your earth science, engineering, geography, nutrition, physics, and some pre-health sciences. I have a little video here that I'm going to show you. Um, this is about a uh, droning and dino track mapping. So if any of you are interested in dinosaurs or maybe just, you know, paleontology or anthropology, uh, this might be something of interest for you. This is a project that's going on right now at CNM.
Now, for those of you that really enjoy history as well as science, uh, there is such a large array of things you can do with both of those. Uh, science, math, and engineering are in everything nowadays. You can find anything you want to do and find some sort of science or some sort of math involved in those programs or in those job types. So if you have any interest in things like drones or working with computers or working uh, in a laboratory, those things are huge fields right now. And I would highly suggest getting into a program that goes about those sort of uh, career fields. We also have the School of Nursing and Patient Support. So uh, with that, pretty straightforward. We have some medical assisting programs. We have nursing. We have a nursing assistant in case you don't want to be a nurse, but you want to be in the health field. And then we have a patient care technician. Uh, so ones, you know, take temperatures, uh, you know, takes your pulse, things like that. So, and we also have great phlebotomy courses uh, in case you are interested in being the person that, you know, helps give out flu shots or, you know, vaccinations, things like that. So maybe you love technology. We have a school of skilled trades. We have automotive tech, which means working on cars. We have working on airplanes, aviation technology. We have carpentry, construction. We have electrical trades, film technicians, which is an awesome program. If you want to be behind the scenes in movies and plays, you can build the set. You can take down the set. You can uh, make sure props are in the right place. You can uh, assist actors or uh, directors and be a personal assistant. Uh, we have all those programs and they can help you get in with the union. And that union can get you jobs with places like Netflix, uh, with places like Disney, places within Albuquerque at Albuquerque Studios. We also have an HVAC program uh, in case you're interested in working on heaters and air conditioners and ventilation systems. And we also have welding. If you like making metal stick together, we have an awesome welding program. We actually had a 17-year-old compete in the Skills USA uh, competition for welding and came in first place. So our welding program is top of the line, and it can send you to amazing places. Like right now, we have a couple of students that went to a company local here in Albuquerque, uh, both making $120,000 a year starting, and both of them are about 20, 21 years old. Now, maybe you don't want to go to school in person. We have an online college that's specifically online. It's a little bit more fast paced than our in-person programs, but you're going to get in and out as quickly as you want, as well as obtain your associate's degree and do it all from home. We have a liberal arts degree. We have business, communications, criminology, and cybersecurity, which is one of the fastest growing fields in the nation right now. So if you like to help protect and you like to do coding and look at things from behind the scenes in a computer, cybersecurity might be for you. Now, let's say you went to school at one point after, let's say, you know, years from now when you're out of high school or middle school or elementary school, and you already have a degree. CNM Ingenuity is a program in case you want to get better at things. If you want to get a certification in something, but you don't want to go to school forever, we have different programs at CNM Ingenuity. We do things like CDL driving. Maybe you want to be a truck driver. We do lineman programs, working on telephone poles. We do uh, different cybersecurity programs. We have a fuse maker space, which is absolutely incredible. A fuse maker space is a CNM owned property that has welding, printmaking, carpentry tools. It's like a gym membership. You pay a monthly fee. I think it's like 35 bucks right now. And you can come in if you own, say, a small business and you want to make merchandise for yourself. You can print some shirts there. You can, uh, let's say you're a welder and you don't have a specific type of welder and you need it for a project, you can go in there and do a project in welding and practice on machines and use our machines for that monthly fee. 
It's an awesome opportunity if you want to, you know, grow some skills, um, or even if you don't need to get a physical hands-on skill. We have coach training. Maybe you want to be a leader. Maybe you want to be a manager. Having coach training under your belt might be something for you. A lot of people like to flip houses. We have real estate. We can get you certified in that as well. So we have a lot of different programs within CNM Ingenuity. It's not a program you have to apply for. You just register and pay for the course and take it. Now, how much does it cost? That was something we mentioned earlier. CNM, we are one of the most cost affordable schools in the, in the state. We actually only charge $63 per credit hour. So thinking about each class you would take, each class is usually about three credits. So that means that you'd be paying about 180, 190 bucks for one class. Now you might be saying, wow, that's a lot, $200 for a class. Well, at other colleges, you're gonna find that for a semester at college, you might be paying around $4,000 or more for whatever program you're taking for about five classes. Now CNM, we have for five classes, uh, a fixed price of $800 or $756 if you're gonna get specific. So that's something to think about when you are applying to schools is what is that gonna cost? And money's important right now, things are expensive. Think about what's cost affordable and what can get you to where you need to go. So sp staying on the topic of paying for school, we have different scholarships available at, U at CNM. We have a lottery scholarship, which is for people right out of high school who want to go to school uh, and they want to go for the most cost affordable as possible. So the lottery scholarship is a scholarship that kicks in after your first semester of school and it will pay for essentially everything at CNM. We have a Bridge to Success scholarship which is the scholarship that will cover that first semester before your lottery scholarship kicks in. It's called the bridge because it can bridge that gap where you may have had to pay for some schooling. Now, to get that scholarship, you need good grades. So I would suggest if you are looking to go to college, please, please, please focus on your grades. Make sure you're doing well in all of your classes. If you're struggling, please get help, get a tutor. Uh, speak to your teacher, speak to your classmates. Um, there's always somebody there that's going to help you. We also have the New Mexico Opportunity Scholarship. That is a new one that is from the state of New Mexico. It is just recently signed this year. It is a scholarship that can help cover anything that the lottery scholarship or Bridge to Success scholarship does not cover. As well as, let's say you take a break after high school and you decide you want to come back to school and you're 25 years old. If you haven't received a degree, you can use the Opportunity Scholarship to go to school for free. We also have different scholarship applications. We have dozens of scholarships to apply for. So I would suggest on our CNM scholarship website, take a look on there. I'm sure you're going to find something that fits your needs. Um, some students, decide that they want to go for grants or loans or work study. So work study means that you're working for the college while you're going to college, as well as grants or things you don't have to pay back. It's kind of like a scholarship. And then there's student loans as well. Student loans are things you do have to pay back. And a lot of students do choose to do student loans. However, 84% of our graduates do not graduate with debt. You do not pay, you aren't paying back loans because you didn't need to take out any. So something, if you are a senior right now, please, please, please fill out your FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid and get that in. So when you do apply for school, you're good to go. You can speak with financial aid and start applying to scholarships. And if you ever have any questions about that, you can contact our financial aid department at cnm.edu backslash financial aid. It'll have the phone number and the email there for you. Now, what if you're needing help and you're going to college? It may be a little bit scary, right? Well, CNM resources are here for you. We have uh, a great tutoring program called TLC, the Learning Center. 
And then we also have an assessment center to help you take tests like our AccuPlacer, which can help you get into college in case your SATs didn't do too well. We also have a contact center to answer any of your questions. We have accessibility services. If you have an IEP or a 504 plan, let's say you have a disability protected by IDEA, we do, uh, when you graduate high school, an IEP in 504, they're not going to follow you. You're not going to have IEP goals anymore. You're not going to have 504 plan uh, goals and accommodations. What you can do is go to our assess accessibility office and they can make accommodations to help you in class. They will send them to your professors. They will send them to your instructors and make sure that you are ready to go uh, and you're receiving all the supports you need to be successful. We have IT department, so help you with tech if your computer's messing up. We have navigators to help you with anything about the school. We have security to help you stay safe on campus. We have student activities in case you want to get involved in our CNM community. We have a veteran resource center. Let's say you go to the military, you can come back, go to school, and our veteran resource center can help you with your GI Bill. They can help you with finding resources for mental health, everything that's very important right now for veterans. We have a TRIO, which is Student Support Center. We have a food pantry in case you or somebody you know are struggling and need basic essentials like food or toiletries. You can go there and get food and toiletries for free if you are in need. And then we also have an Office of Career and Job Placement. CNM loves to get people jobs. We love to make sure people are employed. That is the part that we strive for because we want our community to be strong. So we try to make sure that you have a job at the end of your schooling. So you're not just left on your own after you graduate. Some of you may not be a senior. And if you aren't, I would highly suggest dual credit. So the summer you turn 14 years old, you can be a dual credit student here at CNM. Now, what does that mean? That means that you are taking college courses as a high school or eighth grader student. What that means is you're gonna get free college credit, it's completely free, and it goes on your high school transcript as an elective. So as you're going through school, if you're taking dual credit courses, it's not coming out of your pocket and you might graduate with a degree or a certificate. That is an awesome opportunity to go to school for free while you're going to high school and maybe just get a great job out of high school and be ready for the real world. So that's something that we would offer uh, as long as your school is participating. If you are in the Albuquerque metro area, most likely you will be uh, qualified to take our dual credit courses. So with being a dual credit student, you also get all the access of a normal student. And if you graduate and still want to be with CNM, you can uh, go back to CNM the next semester as an actual college student, and you don't have to reapply because you're already a student with us. So it's just super beneficial. It helps you out with high school transcripts as well as college transcripts. So highly, highly recommend. Now, to become a student at CNM, this is a step-by-step -step process. I'm not gonna go through all of that just for time's sake. I know I'm running out of time, but if you ever are curious as to what you need to do, these steps can be found on our website to become a beginning freshman. Um, but the first thing I will say, just apply, throw in an application, it takes 20 minutes. So thank you. I know that was kind of fast. It was kind of a broad stroke, but I wanted to make sure we saved some time for questions. Uh, again, my name's Joe. I'm a recruiter. Uh, my contact info is right there. If you want a campus tour, there's a QR code right there. You can scan it with your phones. I will leave that up for a second while we're doing questions. Uh, and feel free to follow us on social media and get some updates on things that we're doing around our campuses. All right. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you very much, Joe. Um, teachers, if your students have any questions, you go just go ahead and type that in the chat. Um, we did get one question. What's the okay. benefits of an associate's degree? The benefits of an associate's degree. Okay, so the benefits of an associate's degree. One, you are not going to school as long as a four-year degree. Um, a lot of our students graduate in a year and a half, which means that you can get a degree 
and get a job quicker than if you went for your bachelor's. The second thing about that, CNM has awesome agreements with schools around the, the state where you can transfer with your two-year degree or maybe even a certificate and go to a four-year degree. And with that, one, you already have a degree under your belt so you could work while going to school and help you with your bachelor's degree. And two, you'll be able to take that degree, get a job, and you can put that knowledge that you've learned towards your bachelor's degree. Most of our credits that you take at our school transfer into four-year degree programs and takes off two years that you would be paying for school at a four-year school. Good question. Awesome. And we, we have another question. Um, what are some of the clubs or, or student groups that are there on campus? Yeah, so we actually have uh, quite a few different clubs. Uh, we don't have any sports, unfortunately, but we do have like a Hispanic heritage group. We have a Native American heritage group. Uh, we have a uh, robotics club. Uh, so if you're interested in programming robots, uh, building robots, doing the computering for robots, we do do things like that. We have a little place that's like a little robotics lab where they create robots and almost do like those uh, those robot UFC fight things. Um, so we have that kind of technology. Um, we have different clubs specific to programs. Let's say you're interested in like healthcare. Uh, we have some healthcare clubs, uh, maybe film. If you like being in film or acting, we have different types of clubs for that. So it, we have it's a broad just like most colleges or high schools, we have a lot of different things you can join and be a part of. Good question. Okay. And, and say, um, say you're a student and you, you leave high school and you figure you want to move out. Um, does CNM have student dormitories? We do not. We do have housing nearby, but it is not by CNM. So you would, if you say live outside of Albuquerque, uh, and you need to commute uh, to come to campus, we do have options nearby, but we do not have dorms like a four-year school. Good question. All right. I think this is our last question, Joe. Okay. Um, could I learn an associate's while I'm still in college with the dual credit program? You could earn an associate's. So um, let's say you start taking classes when you're, uh, you know, in the summer between your eighth grade to ninth grade year and you're 14 years old. Over time, if you're taking one or two classes per semester, you could have an associate's degree by the time you graduate high school. Um, and with that, it was all free and you would still be a student with us and you could even enroll in CNM and get a second degree if you wanted to, or take that degree and go to a four-year school. Good question. All right. Well, if we don't have any more questions, I'd, I'd like to go ahead and just thank you again, Joe, uh, for your time and sharing about everything that's out there at CNM. Um, I hope that some of our students attending that, that they apply and yeah. uh, they get to uh, get to graduate as Suncats. So yeah. Thank you very much for, uh, for being part of our 2022 Discovery Fest. Thank you for our sponsors and to our teachers and students. And uh, we hope you all have a nice day. Awesome. And thank you so much. If you'd like, do come out to our event uh, this Friday over at the fairgrounds. We'll be there from nine to three and we'll have other exhibitors that will be in person. We'll have cool swag and an awesome time learning more about uh, different opportunities. All right. Well, thank you all.